Good evening, boys and girls. This is Miss Grimaldo, your assistant principal, and I am going to share a story with you this evening called Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat. So you can see down here at the bottom, the hat just flew right off her head. Down, cried the witch, and they flew down to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on the thundering paws, there bound a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? What do y'all think the witch is going to say? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. So boys and girls, how many friends does the witch have now? She has a cat, and then she has a dog. So how many is that? That's two friends. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wet his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. So can y'all see that bow? It just flew right off. And it looks like the dog was trying to catch it for her. Down, cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in the, her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her, her head low. What do y'all think the bird's gonna want? Then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. So how many friends does the witch have now? So it's a a dog, a cat, a green bird. So that's three friends. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of the pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and... So, so far that's a cat, a dog, a green bird, and a frog. So how many friends is that? The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. What do you guys think that roar is gonna be? So that's four friends and a witch. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have a witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near and licking his lips said, maybe this one's I'll have witch without chips.
But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered, and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yell, and a growl, and a croak, and a shriek. It dripped, and it squelched, and it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. So what do you think all of these creatures are? It looks like a scary monster. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat and phew, set the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. So you can see in the background, that dragon flew off scared. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something everyone throws something in. So the, the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose, what do you guys think it's gonna be? Hopefully pizza. A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped on the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this story, boys and girls, and have a wonderful Friday tomorrow.